We had this question from Jay, uh, Jimmy James earlier on the week. What does it take for players to switch from club rugby to international rugby? Fortunately, we've got a guy that played for about 20 clubs, so he's gone back from international rugby. Admittedly, he didn't play much of that, but Gomez, you got the opportunity to go back. And it's really difficult, isn't it? When you go back from playing from England back to your club, the calls are different, and it makes it more difficult for a scrum off. What I want to do now is I want to sort of do two demos because you were renowned for being one of the best passers in the game, but the rook has changed. Let's just quickly go through those drills that Nigel Melville taught you, the sweeping passing. Tell us how the depth of the rook is now different, makes it different. Yeah, speed of ball is still crucial, but you know, scrum halves are now having to step back. Uh, they're having to step back because it's so competitive in, in, in the ruck now. So you're having to step, which means now I can vary my attack. I can still deliver and get the ball out of Phillips, who's very, very strong up here. He's always looking for the snipe, but he's got a very, very accurate and strong pass. But it's all around the communication, and that's what, where we're talking show us, about. Show us that old pass that you used to do with Nigel Melville. It's a one arm sweep, one -arm, wasn't it? Just one arm push. Yeah, OK, well, <laughs> uh, still got it. I still think we need it. that ball back, but what we're going to yes. go through now is the difference from the England calls. I don't know if you remember, I mean, you would have been on the bench a lot, so you didn't know all oh, the calls, but um, <laughs> let's talk about the difference. So, for example, like the flash call for England, which was somebody switching from one side to the other. You got back to the club. How did that put more pressure on you at the base? Massive uh, pressure because it's all around the communication. It's all, if you dither at the base, uh, the defence, they want to sack you as a nine and, and a ten. If you can get as a defence into the nine and ten, it messes the attack up. So the moment you don't know your calls and, you, and, and confusion sets in, A, everyone gets flat, the attack's gone, and then you can get sacked. And that makes it more difficult for the forwards yeah, the as forwards well. the forwards are timing their run. So, so say we were going to do what we used to call a smash call with England, which is the old George Gregan ball back inside. What you want is our two forward runners to go around the corner. I'm calling it late. Yes, yeah, smash is on, Gomez. He'll pull the defender out, and I'll just pop through this hole here. Problem is, if he's having to think about the call or I can't quite get the call, what happens is he starts to go, we're calling smash, and suddenly smash, 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 I've already gone and I've, I've, I've missed it. This guy can go forward and smash our scrum half. So it's got to be a second nature thing, because any hesitation and that gap will close. Same thing going round the corner, because if I come round the corner and I don't know the call that the 9 and 10 have got to look after well, it's the It's like channel, a hot call, a hot call yeah. is give me so the ball. Give it to 10. If, if, if the 10's hot. calling hot, hot, hot and I don't hear it or I don't recognise it, I'm in the way. So the best I can get is the pass from Gommers, but I'm flat. And, and it's probably a pretty difficult, to catch difficult pass, I'm and it's going to take not the, very good, probably. Without myself. The worst. <laughs> powerful, Austin, powerful. We, we come round the corner, you're calling hot, and we just hot. stand there, and Gomez gets stuck with the ball. All he can do is give me the ball flat, flat, standing still, and I'm just going to get smashed backwards. So just knowing those calls, and it's every facet of the play, the line outs, any hesitation in the line out, and you miss that lift, or you give the opposition time. So that's the difficult thing chopping and changing week to week. So, Jimmy, there's your answer, really. If you're coming back and you're calling the line-outs like Ben, it's very, very tough. You have to concentrate immensely. If you're playing 9 or 10, you can often drop in and out of calls, and that indecision can make it so difficult. Whereas if you're coming back and you're a centre or a winger or uh, a front rower and you don't know most of the calls anyway, then it's quite easy to just go with the flow, as, as you did, Bates, when you got back from your caps. Life was very simple when I played. If, if backs went into a forwards meeting, they would be eaten. It's as simple as that. <laughs> very, very simple.